Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what West Syndrome is, its causes, genetic mutations, signs and symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment options. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. According to the Genetic and Rare Diseases Information Center, West Syndrome is caused by hyperrhythmia or chaotic brain waves that is seen in infantile spasms in infants and children. Infantile spasms start occurring between 4 to 8 months of age. Less than 50,000 Americans are living with West Syndrome. West Syndrome can develop due to one or more genes being mutated. West Syndrome can be inherited in the following ways. Autosomal dominant inheritance. The gene causing the condition is not located on the X or Y chromosome. Only one copy of the responsible gene must pair with the pathological variant or mutated gene to cause the offspring to develop the condition. Can be caused by the parent having the condition or a gene mutates causing the condition when there is no family evidence of the condition being passed down. X-linked recessive inheritance. The mutated gene is carried on the X chromosome. Mothers who carry this mutation may have mild symptoms of the condition. Any male children the mother has will have a 50% chance of developing the condition. For a daughter to develop the condition, both parents must have the mutation on the X chromosome. For mothers who carry the mutation, there is a 50% chance that their daughters will become carriers. For fathers who have the mutation, any daughter that he has will be carriers of the mutation. Autosomal recessive inheritance. The gene causing the condition is not located on the X or Y chromosomes. Both parents must carry the recessive or mutated gene for their child to develop the condition. Carriers normally do not experience any symptoms of the condition, but have a 1 in 4 chance of having a child with the condition. The following genetic mutations are known to cause West Syndrome. NTRK2. Mutations have been associated with obesity and mood disorders. WDR45. Mutations of WDR45 are linked to a variety of neurodevelopmental and neurodegenerative conditions. SCN2A. Mutations are associated with seizure disorders and autism spectrum disorder. CDKL5. Mutations are associated with X-linked infantile spasm syndrome and Rett syndrome. ARX. Mutations of this gene cause X-linked cognitive disability and epilepsy. PIGA. Inherited variants of the PIGA gene cause a deficiency that can lead to intellectual disability, infantile spasms, and other abnormalities of the brain and spinal cord. SPTAN1. Mutations of this gene cause early infantile epileptic encephalopathy 5. PLCB1. Mutations of this gene can produce severe infantile epileptic encephalopathy. GRIN2B. Mutations of this gene are associated with neurodevelopmental disorders, autism spectrum disorder, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, epilepsy, and schizophrenia. ST3GAL3. Mutations have been associated with autosomal, recessive, non-syndromic cognitive disability, and infantile epileptic encephalopathy. SIK1. Mutations of this gene are associated with early infantile epileptic encephalopathy 30. PHA CTR1. 
Mutations of this gene are associated with multifocal epilepsy, with infantile spasms, and hypsarrhythmia. GUF1. A mutation of this gene is associated with early infantile epileptic encephalopathy 40. CMPY3. Mutations of this gene are linked to early onset epileptic encephalopathy, West syndrome, and hippocampal malrotation. Symptoms of West syndrome can develop from birth up to 11 years of age or birth to childhood. Symptoms can vary from mild to severe and it can affect everyone differently. Symptoms of West syndrome are developmental regression, loss of developmental skills, psychomotor regression, infantile spasms, epileptic spasms, myoclonus, myoclonic jerks, abnormality of skin morphology or abnormal skin structure, abnormality of the nervous system, neurological abnormality. The first step in diagnosing West syndrome is for a series of EEGs to be conducted. Several will be done during the time the child is awake and asleep looking for any irregular brain activity and particularly signs of hyperrhythmia. Additional tests that may be conducted include neuroimaging to look for brain abnormalities, blood tests to find if a metabolic condition is present, and genetic testing to see if any gene mutations linked to West syndrome is present. According to the Epilepsy Foundation, the following treatments are used for West syndrome. Steroid therapy with either prednisone, prednisolone, or adrenocorticotropic hormone, vigabatrin. If steroids and or vigabatrin do not work, other anti-seizure meds that are used include velproate, topriamate, pyridoxine, semisamide, clobazam, or clonazepam. In conclusion, according to the Genetic and Rare Diseases Information Center, West syndrome is caused by hyperrhythmia or chaotic brain waves that is seen in infantile spasms in infants and children. West syndrome can be inherited or caused by a genetic mutation. West syndrome can develop from infancy to childhood, averaging birth to 11 years of age. Steroids and anticonvulsant medication are common treatments for West syndrome. To learn more about West syndrome and epilepsy, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.